Good evening. Hello, hello, class. Welcome. Good evening. Hey, Saul, Chris, welcome. Claudia, Jancy. Hi, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good, Good evening. night, teacher. Good evening, Jancy. Good evening. Welcome to the class again, right? Good. Let's begin immediately. Um, hello to Marcela too. Welcome, Marcela. It's a pleasure. Now let's begin, right? Let's go. Okay, welcome. Now, uh, we're going to start with the presentation of today. Yesterday, we were learning about the prepositions of place, in, on, and at, right? But today we're going to talk in, we're going to talk, sorry, about uh, locations, right? And for this, we are going to, we are going to use there is, there are, right? Good. So in support, Inglés Corporativo and teacher Javier Gomez, right? Uh, say welcome to this class. Oh, excuse me. And Dino too. Welcome to this class, to this class. Yeah. Dino too, right? Dino says, welcome to everybody. Right? And Dudley too. Here I am. Welcome everybody. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, who is it? Josué, right? Ernest. Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure, right? Now, this class is class number 17. Class 17, right? Today is November 22nd. <laughs> almost Christmas, right? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish. So, almost Christmas. Well, uh, the topic for today is how to use there is and there are. There is, there are. Plus quantifiers, right? This is the topic for today. Okay, class? Let's go to the objective today. Uh, Chris, can you read the objective, please, for the class? Unit four? Sure. Addresses and places. I will be able to. I can tell people the specific location of place and directions surrounding my workplace. Excellent. So, Chris, good reading. Thank you. Thank you very much. Teacher, uh, what, yeah, tell when me. is your last class? Monday. Monday. Monday, November. Next 20th. Monday. Next Monday, yes. Yes. Hey, so, great. Yeah. Thank you. Good. So, we have uh, today, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. We finish, right? So, you can go to Christmas party <laughs> and tweet, tweet, <laughs> oh, tweet, tweet, tweet the kabu, 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 right? <laughs> okay, good. Now let's begin. Uh, to start, we're going to practice a conversation, right? And this conversation starts with Will. Will says, Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Like, like you say, for example, where is the Torre Cuscatlan building, right? The same, Melbourne building. I don't live here, it says. I don't live here. And then it said, don't worry, be happy. No, sorry. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Edificios, right? Buildings. Four buildings. Which one do you need? Which building do you need? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the question will be in Spanish. Okay, y yeah. si yo quiero, digamos, la indicación de preguntar eh, dónde está la corte o dónde está un juzgado, mm -hmm. ¿cómo debería preguntarlo? Eh, directly. Eh, for example, we can say, where is corte de cuentas located? No, pero en inglés, ¿cómo diría corte? Ah, oh, no, Suponiendo no, no. Que, no, no, que, no, no. Que, okay, que, well. well. Que, Suponiendo que usted está litigando en Estados Unidos y quiere una orientación para llegar a la uh, corte. But it depends. There are many courts in the United States. For example, if you want to go to the Suprema Corte, for example, right? You can say the Supreme Court, for example, right? The Supreme Court. Oh, it depends. I don't know. Maybe what other court? The Civil Court, for example. I imagine, right? The civil court, etc. But you say court. Court, you know? 
the most common and, and the, the, the most, I don't know, high, the, 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 the most, how can I say, um, uh, how can I say this in English? Well, uh, uh, the highest, the highest level in, in, in legally, right, is the, the, the Supreme Court. So you, you say that, right? Or, 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 or if you want to learn about, for example, a supermarket, where is the supermarket, for example, right? Simple. Where is? Oh, where is the drugstore located? You know, those are the questions you can make, right? Okay. Now, let's continue with the conversation. Is this? Uh, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street, the principal street, right? And then it says, I know it. I have information about this building. It's, it's down the street on the left. Left, right? My left. This is my, well, well I, I am in front of the camera, but, you know, this is my right. This is my left, right? You know, left. So uh, in this case, we're talking about uh, down the street on the left side. Yeah, because the, the street has two sides, the, the right and the left side, right? So the the building is on the left side, right? And we'll say, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Centro de Capacitación, right? Is there a training center? And then he said, there are a lot, montón. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. So there are two streets, Main Street and King Street, right? And Will says, I have some interviews, right? Entrevistas. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Okay, class. Now let's practice pronunciation. And later, you can tell me, you can make questions about the meaning, the significado, right? The meaning of some of these words. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Ladies and gentlemen, repeat after me. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Qual? Qual necesita? Right? Which one do you need? Which one do you need? Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Main Street. The building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. I know it. Notice that it's not know it. No, it's know it. I know it. It's down the street. It's down the street. On the left side. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. Thanks. I have to ask you. I have to ask you 
something else. Something else. Something else. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers on the building. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Th 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 thank you. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, good. Uh, do you have questions about the meaning? How do you say in Spanish, for example? Questions? Why we read capital letter in Main Street in which? It's a rule. It's a rule. Oh, right? Okay. Uh, for example, in English, let's say, for example, month, days of the week, Monday, capital letter all the time. Month, November, all the time, capital letter, right? Okay. Main Street. Main Street, right? Is the name of the street. Like you, you, like you say, Juan Pablo Segundo Street, you know? You know? Yeah. Or España Avenue. Or Cuscatlán Avenue, you know? So all the time we use capital letters, right? Yeah. Also the cities, San Salvador. The companies, for example, uh, one of the companies is uh, Ayala y Alfaro, right? Uh, Ayala and Alfaro. You know? So this is a rule. Many names and, and months of the year, uh, days of the week are, are with plural, uh, I mean, with, with, with capital letter, excuse me, with capital letter, right? It's a rule, it's a rule. Okay, thank you for the question. Any other question, class? Questions, questions, come on. I like questions. I love questions. Questions? Well, I have a question. What is the meaning of something else? Something Algunas else. veces. Ok, Mario. Well, es algo más. Algo más, you know. Something. Algo, you know. Something else. I have to ask you. Tengo que preguntarte algo más. I have to ask you something else, right? Ok. Good. No questions? No, we'll take the attendance. Stay present, please. Today is Thursday, November the 23rd. 20, ah. The 23rd. No, it's Thursday, right? Sorry, I was wrong. Let me check. Let me check. According to the presentation, it says November 22nd, right? Sorry. I am lost. Yeah, this is the conversation. We're going to practice the conversation, right? Yes, it's, I'm sorry, excuse me, class. I was on Thursday, not today is Wednesday. 
sorry. <laughs> I am lost. Today is Wednesday. Sorry. Que oso, que oso. <laughs> okay, today is Wednesday, November 22nd, right? And let me say... Um... Yes. Yes, okay. Ana Maria, please. Brian? Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Chris? Here. Thank you. Daisy? Present. Thank you. Dagoberto? Mr. Monteagudo Ventura. Okay, Glenda. Present. Thank you. Griselda. Present. Very good. Jorge. Aquí. Okay. Present. Thank you. Josué. Present. Teacher, enviamos mensaje ahí, no sé si. No, no, no yet. Wait, wait. Ya lo voy a leer. Just give me a second. I will take the attendance first. Solo tomo la asistencia y después los leo. Yes, don't worry. Carolina. Miss Elaya Córdoba. No, ok. Eh, Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you. Ernesto. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Mario. Present teacher. Marlon. Maybe. Present. Okay, welcome, maybe. Present teacher, pero estoy muy ocupado, lo siento. Eh, Marlon, yes, I understand. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes. Okay, good. Eh, Otmar. Otmar. Okay, Saul. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jancy. Present teacher. Thank you. Let me read the messages. I have some messages here, right? Uh -huh. Let me say. Eh, Claudia say, oh, okay. Good, Claudia. Estaré de oyente. Marcela. Ah, Marcela, listen, right? Uh, listen to me. Todos los oyentes ahora están obligados a repartir semita. Porque no pueden participar, entonces no van a dar semita a todos. <laughs> en coffee. Okay, Marcela says oyente, right? Okay. Give me a second, please. Uh, okay, here. Good, and uh, maybe, right? Oh, oyente también. Oh, come on, maybe. No, okay, well, anyway. Eh, luego Marlon, no, no, maybe, right? Yes, maybe. En Marlon. Oh, yes. Okay, no problem, Marlon. And then Josué. Ah, no está en su casa. Okay, good. Estar de oyente, no problem, Josué. Teacher. Yes. How do you pronounce uh, Milburn? Uh, Mel Melbourne. It's a noun. Melbourne. Melbourne. Like, Melbourne. Uh -huh, like, like the city in, in Canada. Like, oh, no, no. In, in Australia, right? Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne. Okay. Melbourne. Uh -huh, Melbourne. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, good. Just give me a second. Let, I have this Marlon. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Josue, right? Marlon in Josue. In... Ana Maria. Tengo problemas de... Oh. Bueno. Sorry. Mal de salud, Ana María, right? Y tenemos a Marlon, Josué. Ok, Josué. There you go. Now let's begin with the class, right? I mean, let's begin with the conversation. Uh, any other question? Questions? Good. No, no, no. Mr. Olano, no questions? Okay, good. So let's practice the pronunciation for the last time, right? And then we, we're going to practice in pairs, in pairs. Again, please, enthusiasm, energy, please. And 
concentration in the pronunciation. Right? Ready? Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Now let's practice, right? Claudia, your will. Uh, Chris, you're you're going to be Tanya. Tanya, right? So Claudia okay, will okay. and Tanya is Claudia, right? Okay, Claudia, ready? Okay. Hello, can you help help me? He, where is the Melbourne building? I don't like I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I girl told me to go to the building on my street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you some some time. Some, some time, something, um, something, I some, some, something is, is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between May and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Claudia. Thank you. And thank you, Chris. Good. Now let's go to the next one, right? In this case, uh, Daisy. Daisy, you are Will. Right? And Glenda, you are Tanya, right? Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we have Daisy. And Glenda, action. Hello, can you can you hear me? Where where is Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live. I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. 
Which one do you need? Which which one? Which one? Which one do you need? Thank you. Agreed. Told me. Told me to put the buildings on Main Street. I know it is down the street on the left side. Day. On the left side. On the left. On the left side. Side. Thanks. I have to to ask you some some oh some something else. Something else is the training center. There are lots of training center or the willing with main and keep the between, Glenn, Glenn, between within be, between 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 my and keep a street okie dokie thank you ah sorry excuse me one more for this excuse me continue this <laughs> i have some uh, interviews there interviews thank you. In interviews they say interviews Inter interviews thank you okay bye 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 bye. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Glenda. Okay, now next one, right? We have Griselda and Jorge, right? Griselda, your uh, Will, and Jorge, your Tanya, right? But this time I would put it more difficult, right? More difficult, right? Okay. So, ready, Griselda? Okay. Action. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. There are four buildings. No, no, a girl told me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, Griselda. A girl told me. Your will, right? A, a girl told me. A girl told me to go to building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the strip on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May and the King Street. Some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okie dokie. Now you see, I put a difficulty to disappear for a moment, the lines, right? But you did it very well. Congratulations. Nice. I like it. I like it. Thank you, Glenda and... No, no, sorry, Griselda, Griselda, excuse me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Griselda. Griselda and Jorge, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now let's go to the next one. Everybody's going to participate here. So we have uh, Mar Ernesto. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernesto versus Mario. <laughs> Ernesto versus Mario. Okay, ready? One. Yes. So, okay, wait a minute. I will disappear. There. Yes. One, two, three, action. Come on. Who am I? You are sí. Tania. Teacher, no me aparece nada en la pantalla. Here, Ernesto. Here, ah. Ernesto. Here. Okay. Remember. Okay. <laughs> Hello, can you help Hello, me? Hello, can you help me? <laughs> what, is the what is the Milburn? I'm very... <laughs> okay, I'm good. Here. excellent, very good. You have public, right, Ernesto? Tiene público y apoyándolo. <laughs> okay, now please, Mario. Don't worry, there are four buildings. <laughs> Which one do you need? Okay. 
Commander Nelson. Uh -huh. Ayer told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street. On the left side. On the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center or the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, okay, come on. Excellent. You are also, yeah, no, 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 come on. It's for to practice the memory, right? Yes, it's true. Yeah. Yes. It's better. Congratulations, Mario, and congratulations, Ernesto. Very good. Good memory. Some yeah. travation, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, it's difficult. It's difficult in Spanish, and now in English it's more complicated, right? I have a bad memory, Mario. I have a bad memory. So don't, don't ask me to memorize because I'm very bad. Okay. Now let's go to Saul and Jancy, right? Saul, you are Will. Jancy, you are Tania. Ready? Yes? Okay. okay. Saul, go. Hello. Can you help me? Can you help me where is the Melbourne building? I don't know. No suppletion, no suppletion, please. I don't live here. Jancy. Don't worry, Daddy. I for building which one do you need? Ah, no, no. <laughs> no. Come on. Come on. I need his, his help, teacher. I need no, his no, help. I know. Yes, I know in pair, right? I say Jancy. En pareja, en vaca, se nos manga. <laughs> Continue, okay. Which one? You need it. Okay, good. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I from it it's though and uh, the street on the left um on the on on the left side Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Something else. Uh, I is there is there a training center? Come on, Jancy. You can do it, Jancy. Come on. The microphone, Jancy. They are a lot. Of training centers on the building with between between between, between made in King Street. Aha. <laughs> ayuda, ayuda el público. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, Saul. I have some interviews there. There. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Nice. Thank you, Yancy. Thank you, Saul. Mi astigmatismo no me ayuda. Sorry, right? Pero ahí tienes la dislexia. 
Ahí tiene soporte técnico y así. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, class. Uh, good. Now let's go to the grammar, right? Let's go to the grammar. Right? Okay, let me. Oh, Claudia. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Yes. Yancy say, Mario says, congratulations. Good work, he says. Yeah, it's difficult to memorize. It's difficult, right? Okay, class. Uh, let's start with the grammar, right? Uh, listen, in, in English, right, um, we, we, if you want to say the word I, I de haber, right? In Spanish, no problem, right? Because you say, hay un, hay un edificio, right? Hay dos edificios. So we use the word I, right? No problem in Spanish. But in English, mm, it's more complicated. It's more complicated in English. Yeah. Because you use there is for singular. And you use, excuse me, there are for plural, right? Singular there is. Hay un, right? And there are, hay, hay, hay algunos o hay algunos, right? Okay, good. So there is is for plural, uh, singular, sorry. And there are is for plural, right? Examples, examples. There is an ATM across the street. Notice that is an ATM. It's singular, only one, right? Uh, cajero automático, right? There is an ATM. Across the street. Mm -hmm. There is a, ah, sorry. Contraction, look. So there is equal to say, Mm, sorry. Eh. Ah, yes, here, right? There is equal to say there's, right? Contraction. There is, there's. Now, he says there's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Ah, and notice that how to say negative. There is no clothing factory around the corner. In this case, we say negative, right? Other form to say this is there isn't. A clothing factory Ar around the corner. Right? So you can say, there is no clothing factory around the corner, or you can say, there is then a clothing factory around the corner. There are two options. To say negative with there is and there are, you can say no, the word no, N-O, N-O, no. There is no clothing. There is no clothing. There is no pupuseria at the corner, right? Ah, oh, mentira. En cada esquina hay una pupuseria. There is no shoe store. There is no shoe store. Or there isn't a shoe store, you know? In negative, we have two forms to say. There is no or there isn't, right? The two are correct. Now, with plural, right? There are a lot of, right? In this case, a lot of means, a lot of means mucho, bastante, mucho. right? Mm -hmm. A lot of, or you can say lot of, lots of. It's the same. Also, we use the word some, algunos, algunos, right? Some. These are what we call in English quantifiers. Look, quantifiers. Because they don't say three, seven, ten. These are, you know, like a specific number, right? But when you say a lot of possible 20 or possible 25, I don't know, right? It's not specific. Lots of or some. 
Some supermarket could be two supermarkets or five supermarkets. It's not a specific, but you have an idea. Because it's not the same to say a lot of, un montón, but to say some, algunos, right? A lot of, I imagine, 25 supermarket, right? And some, I imagine, three or four supermarket, right? So the number is not the same, but it's not exactly. You don't say the number, right? No se dice el número, pero más o menos me da una idea. Right? Okay, good. I have a question here. Uh, ooh, Chris, I understand, Chris. Good. Now, um, there are no hospitals. There are no hospitals on on Barrys Street, right? Barrys Street. No hospital. Or you can say, listen. You can say there aren't hospitals on Barrys Street. Notice, you say, there aren't hospitals on Barry yeah. Street. There aren't hospitals on Barry Street, right? It's the same. There are no hospitals or there aren't hospitals. It's the same. And notice that when we, we use singular, right, we use the word ah clothing store. Because it's singular, right? But when we say, we cannot say, there aren't a hospitals. There aren't a hospital. No, no. Because it's, no hay un hospitales. Un hospital. No. So we say, there aren't hospitals. Okay? Good. Questions? Questions, questions. No questions? Okie dokie, class. No now, questions. Now, thank you. Now, repeat no after questions. me. Thank you, thank you. Repeat after me. Ladies and gentlemen, repeat after me. There is an ATM across the street. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Recruitment, Roosevelt Street, First Avenue. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Clothing factory. Fabrica de ropa, right? Clothing factory. There is no clothing factory around the corner. Or, repeat please, repeat. There isn't a clothing factory around the corner. Okay, Carolina, can you help me, please? Can you read all the sentences, please? Again, with there is, there is. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Carolina está oyente, excuse me, let me see. Ah, no, no, sorry. Uh, Carolina está oyente, ¿verdad? ¿no? Give me a second. Uh... <laughs> no, Carolina no está en la clase, yes. Sí, cómo no, ¿verdad, Carolina? Aquí está. Carolina está de oyente o, o puede participar. Perdón, perdón por el oso que estaba desubicado ahí. ¿Me copia, Carolina? 10-4, Crisia Carolina. 10-4, 10-4. 
No, no, no soy. Creo que debe estar trabajando, quizás. Ok, good. Pero aquí le vamos a anotar la asistencia, Carolina. No sé, ya vamos a ver cómo. cómo... Quiero ver quién más. Eh, Otmar. Otmar no está ahora. Ok, sorry, sorry. Now, eh, can you help me? Saúl, please help me, Saúl. Read the sentence with that is, please. In singular, teacher. Uh, yes, only the singular, only the singular. Only, only read, read for the class. There is an ATM across the street. There's, um, I understand what's it mean. Recruitment. Re recruitment. 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 There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around of the corner. The corner, sorry. There isn't a clothing factory around the corner. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good reading, Saul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, can I make an observation? ¿Le puedo hacer una observación? Can I make an observation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Permítame. Okay. I don't see you. Ya les hice la observación. The observation, you know? Okay, you're good. <laughs> okay, Mario. <laughs> you understand, right? <laughs> okay, Saul, can you see me? Si me alcanza a ver, Saul. I see you, teacher. Observation. <laughs> okay, good. Now there are. Thank you. Thank you, Saul, for the reading. Now, everybody, read, please. Read. Repeat after me, everybody. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are a lot of companies down the street. The street. Listen, it's not the uh, street. No, no, no. The street. The street, right? Repeat, please. There are some supermarkets. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. There aren't hospitals on Barrio Street. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, Claudia, can you help me reading, please? Pay attention to Claudia, class. Listen. Come on, Claudia. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. There are no hospitals on various streets. There aren't hospitals on various streets. Congratulations. Good reading. Very good, Claudia. Good reading. Congratulations. Now, okay, very good. Thank you. Now, any question? Questions? No, okay, good. Remember, remember that uh, there is and there are means in Spanish, I, right? I. I. But there is is for singular and there are is for plural, right? Okie dokie. Now let's go and work. It's time to work. Good. Look. There is and there are, right? Use there is 
with singular nouns. Use there are with plural nouns. There is a small office. Look, singular, right? There is a small office downstairs. En la planta de abajo, downstairs. There is a large desk. Means un escritorio grande, you know. A large desk and two windows. Two windows. There's no elevator. There is no elevator. Oh, there isn't an elevator. Now, how to make question? Instead of say there is, we don't say there is. We say is there. There is. Is there? Is there a balcony? Yes, there is. Oh, no, 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 there isn't, right? Yes, no question. So you say, is there a balcony? Yes, there is. Now, with plural, with plural, right? There are three large rooms. Large room, right? There are three large rooms. Upstairs, you know, in the parte de arriba. In the planta de arriba. Upstairs. Upstairs. There are two windows and a large desk. Large, in this case, is synonym. Synonym of big. Right? Large. For example, I can say Brazil. Muito obrigado você tu convidado do jogo bonito do Brazil. Right? Brazil is a large country. It's a big country, you know? Like Russia, like Canada, United States, Australia, large or big country, right? It's, it's a synonym. Now, there are no elevators. There are no elevators, right? Negative. The, or there are an elevator. Now, in questions, you say, there are? Are there? There are? Are there? Yeah. Okay. Are there? Are there closets? Yes, there are. Oh, no. There are, right? Okay. Good, class. These are more examples, right? On the use of there is, there are. But notice that when we answer the question, is there a balcony? You say, yes, there's. Yes, there's. And incorrect. The correct is, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Right? That is the correct. Oh, you don't say the contraction. There, 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 I don't know. This is incorrect. And incorrect. The correct is, there are. So in this case, no contractions. No contraction with there are. Right? Okay, class. Questions, questions? About the use of the no question, teacher. No question. No, teacher. I like it. I like it, right? Now it's time to work, right? Complete. Let me see. Uh, yes. We're going to make two. Complete this sentence that using there is or there are. There is or there are, right? Okay, please. I need you make screenshot. Capture pantalla, please. Screenshot. Eh, Mario, please send the, the copy to the to the chat, right? Como siempre, Mario, ayúdeme ahí, écheme la mano. Mándeme el, la captura al, al chat, right? A screenshot to the to the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Now listen. What are you going to do? All these sentences are affirmative. Affirmative. The only thing you have to say um, is singular or plural. If it is singular, you can say there is, or you can say there's, no problem. If it is plural, you say there are, right? There are. Okay, so... Uh, you can find the screenshot, the screenshot in the in the chat, right? In the chat. 
Now I am going to make the groups. Are you ready? Hoy tenemos poquitos alumnos. So we're going to make two groups on it, right? Solo dos grupos. Two groups, right? Ready? Group number one. Eh, solo voy a nombrar los que están activos. Los que están de oyentes, pues, sí van a estar ahí, pero solo los de oyentes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, yes. Now, eh, Dagoberto. Group number one, Dagoberto. Glenda. Group number one, Glenda. Eh, Jorge. One. Eh, bueno, ahí todos son, todos son oyentes. Yancy, group number one, right? De ahí solo tengo oyentes. ¿sí? Marcela está de oyente, Ana María está de oyente, Cristian está de oyente, Maybe también, ¿verdad? Maybe está de oyente, vamos a ver. Yes, maybe está de oyente. Ok, so, in this case, group number one. Eh, Dagoberto, Glenda, and Jansi. Only three, right? Okay. Good. Now, group number two. Claudia, Griselda, Ernesto, and Mario. Right? Los demás todos son oyentes. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Let's go, please. Okay, ready? Marlon, nos vamos al grupo de sala pequeño, please. Saúl, please. Group number two, Saúl. Yeah, thank you. Carolina, si ¿sí me escucha, Caro. Nos vamos al salón de Pequeño, please. Ana María, Chris, Josué. Is a moving and look. Para mí es there is. Sí. 
Sí, yo creería que es there is la uno. Sí, there is. There is. Uh, no estaba cuando explicó el teacher, pero lo que sabemos un poquito. <risa> yo estoy, pero es que ¿Qué? estaba de oyente, ¿Qué? nada más es que estoy ocupada. Pero sí, yo nah. creería que es there is. Nah. There is a movie unknown. Va, la dos. There are a concert at. There are. Plural. No, there is. No, porque es un concierto. No son varios. Sería. There is. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque dice el teacher que sí. <ríe> Entonces sería there are. Porque está hablando en plural. Es there is. El dos. Es there is. Es un concierto, dice un concierto, un concert. Sí, pero habla, está hablando de un concierto, no de varios conciertos. Por eso el singular. Ah, is. Okay, okay. Sí. Va y el otro dice. There is también, there is a bank on the corner of España. On the 27th Street. La four sería. En la cuatro si es there are. En el tres estamos, Chris. Angel. El cuatro. Es there is. Ahora son dos oficinas. Dice. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí tenés partir de dos o más provocando un plural. There are. Bueno. Ahí usted manda entonces. ¿Cuál no, si, alguien, si alguien difiere, puede. puede no, yo porque. Lo que pasa que yo, estoy, yo, yo porque así lo entendí. ¿Por cuál vamos? ¿Por la 3 o por la 4? Por, por la 3. Me... Jorge, don't be pleitisto. <risa> no, pues sí. Hay <risa> pan en the corner en español. Entonces, la, la 3. Number 3. La 3 dice el compañero que es de Rara. No. Yo te dije, es en la 4. La 3 es de Riz. Jorge. La 4 sí es de Rar. Jorge, de Riz 3 y 4 de Rar, ¿right? Sí. That's what Chris says. Chris says that. Vaya, ya cambió versión aquel. Vaya, de Riz en el 3. De Rar en el 4. Ya no opino mejor. Ahí lo resuelve. Come on, Jorge. No. You're very playtist, Jorge. Lo vamos, vamos a dejar, por el... lo vamos a dejar por... sin semita, Jorge. Lo dejamos sin semita, va, Glenda. <risa> en el 5, there is. Ajá. Voy a ir al otro grupo. Ahí los dejo un ratito. Ok. Yes. No están peleando. No. <risa> Number Finish. Who's the leader here? Who's the leader? Ernest. Finish, teacher. Are you finished? Finish. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. You win to group number one, right? Le ganaron al grupo uno. Yes, congratulations. Thanks. Good. Eh, me voy al grupo uno y voy a ver si ya terminaron. Luego nos unimos, yes. Ok. Creo que ahí está bien. Vaya, las number side, bam, number six, quiero ver. Six, Ay. six, number six. Son oh. una farmacia y una cafetería. Tiene que ser. Sí. There are. There are. Y la siete, ¿qué dice? La siete... Igual, there are two uh, windows. Al baño en la bathroom. Sí, es plural, there are también. La ocho. Y la ocho, there are three. Y la ocho... No sé si elevator o elevators. Porque dice tres elevadores. En el sí, está haciendo... Está Entonces sería de, de, de there, are. there are. Sí, y la última... Esa es la última. Esa es la última, la, la, la H. Ok, estamos entonces. Gerardo, solo es la 4. Si quieres, re, repitamos. 
Uh, moving at noon era there is. Uh, sí. Compañero, yo me desligo un momento, voy bajando la calle de los chorros, pero ya inmediatamente me desocupe, me conecto de nuevo. Okay. Sí. Eh. Oh, yo tengo dos, tengo dos mayores, po. tengo dos mayores, esta es la última. Qué bueno, mm. qué bueno. <risa> pero, ahorita lo estoy disfrutando. Excelente. Mm. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Ernesto is a good father, eh? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, yes, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, let's check it out together, right? Group number one, please. There is or there are, please. Group number one. There is. There is. Thank you. There is a movie, right? Good. Group number two, please. Dago, Jorge, Glenda, number two, group number two. There, there is. There, there is. is. There is a concert and listen, this is the complication. There is a concert at 2 p.m. and there is a game, right? So you say there is a concert and there is a game. But in order to not be repetitive, you only say there is a concert. Mm -hmm. But the, there is is for the concert and for the game. Never say there are concert and game because it's only one concert and it's only one game, right? Understand? Good. Now, number three, please, group number one. There is. There is. Okie dokie. There is. Good. There is a bank on the corner of España and 27th Street, right? Good. Group number two, please. There are. There are, correct. There are two office buildings, right? Or there are two buildings. Good. Number five, please. Group number one. There are. There are. Here you can say there are some supermarket if you want, right? Or there are a lot of supermarkets. We can use quantifiers if you want. But there are supermarkets, you know, nearby Cerquita. Is is correct, right? Okay, now let's go to number six, right? Group number two, please. There are. Mm. But it says a pharmacy, only one pharmacy, right? Uh, number six is similar to number two. There is a concert and there is a game, but you don't, you are not repetitive. So you omit there is a game. So you only say there is a concert and a game, right? So the same happened with the pharmacy and the cafeteria, please. There is or there are, group number two? There is. There is, correct, right? There is a pharmacy and there is a cafeteria, you know? There is a pharmacy and there is a cafeteria, right? But I say it's not necessary to be repetitive. You only say there is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner, right? Okay, thank you. Group number one, please, seven. Group number one, seven. There are. There are two windows, correct. There are two windows in the PP room, in the bathroom, right? In the bathroom. Okay, number eight, group number two. There are. There are, correct. Because we talk about three elevators, right? Excelentoso, very nice. Now, please, repeat after me, repeat after me. There is a movie at noon. There is a movie at noon. 
There is a concert at two. And a game at three. There is a bank on the corner of España and 27th Street. There are two office buildings across the street. There are supermarkets nearby. Nearby. There are supermarkets nearby. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner. Pharmacy, cafeteria. There are two windows in the bathroom. There are two windows in the bathroom. 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 There are three elevators in the Cuscatlan building. There are three elevators. Okay, good. Jorge, can you read one to four, please? One to four, only Jorge, please. There is a movie at noon. There is a concert at two and again at three. There is a bank on the corner of España and 27th Street. There are two office buildings across the street. Thank you, Jorge. Now, Dagoberto, please. Can you read five to eight, please? Five to eight. There are supermarkets nearby. Nearby? Nearby. There are supermarkets nearby, nearby. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner. There are two windows in the bathroom. There are three elevators in the in the Cuscatlan building. Thank you very much, right? Thank you very much. Any extra question? Now let's go to the second task, please. Here, in this case, you are going to make, listen, you're going to make questions. Ladies and gentlemen, question, right? Don't forget to use the question mark at the end. So we have six questions, right? Again, we're going to make groups. And I will, I will make new group, right? Group number one. Uh, Ana Maria, Daisy... Glenda, Griselda, Josué, Armando, eh, Carolina, maybe, and Yancy, right? Pero los que están activos son Glenda, Daisy, no sé, no, ¿verdad? Daisy, todavía está oyente. Que Glenda. No, ya regresé. Ah, ok, good. <risas> bueno, entonces ahí va a estar Daisy, Glenda, Griselda, Josué, Armando, todavía ha sido oyente, Josué, Armando. Carolina. Yancy. Bueno. Y grupo número dos. Vamos a ver. Cristian. ¿Ya está participando, Cristian? Aún no, teacher. Regáleme no, no. un par de minutos. Ya le confirmo. No hay problema, no hay problema. Lo voy a mandar al grupo uno, entonces. Ahí solo va a estar de oyente, no se preocupe. Ok. Group number two, eh, Dagoberto, Jorge, Marcela, que está de oyente, Ernesto, Mario, ah, solo pesos pesados van aquí, eh, Saúl, right? Marlon, sí, de oyente, así que. Ok, ready? Eh, Mario, ya me envió el screenshot. Hágame el favorazo ahí. Pues. Yeah, teacher. Good, thank Good. you. 
Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Dago, nos vamos al grupo 2, Dago. Carolina. Grupo 1, Carolina. Ana María, grupo 1. No, perdón, Ana María, grupo 2. Ah, no, perdón, Ana María, grupo 1. Y Marlon. Grupo 2, Marlon, ¿ok? Please. ¿Tienen alguien que tenga algo? Voy a intentar compartirles. Ok. Ahí me avisan si lo ven. Ok, está bien, Glenda. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? A mí no me aparece, Glenda. No. Hoy sí, Glenda. Pacha. Entonces empecemos. Eh, hay que hacer las pre dice que, hay que tenemos que hacer las las questions usando is there o are there y aquí está el ejemplo que él nos dio uh -huh. que el is there siempre es para plural para singular y el are there para plural el primero es dancing this a, a dance this week sería sería dance sí verdad sí es probable is there is there a dance uh -huh. is there a dance Is there... Sería is there are no no perdón there are dancing weekend there are a dance this weekend porque dice a dance this dance week. weekend entonces sería, sería is o oh, is there is there, is there. A dance. ¿Qué significa this? Porque this weekend. Esta semana. Ajá, entonces sí sería, is there a dance this weekend? Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La otra dice que es three minutes esta semana, entonces sería are. Ajá, sería are. Are, are, there, are there, ¿verdad? Are 
this week this weekend vaya la number two I don't know oh man pues sería is there is there, there sí is there a bank Ajá. Is there a bank? Is there a bank? No. Is there a bank? No. No. Okay. Is there a bank? No. 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 Sí. Okay. Bye. La otra es. Hot mucho. Are there how many? How many? Ajá. Sería are there, verdad? Sí, porque es cuatro juegos a la semana. Uh -huh. Are there how many, how days? many days in the afternoon? Uh, oh, no. are... Sorry for the interruption. Is 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 the other side right? Al revés. Are... How many games are there? How uh -huh. many games are there? Okay. How many games? Estaba escondido el techo. Este arte no. Esa voz ya no parece de mujer. Ya le oí bien. <risa> el San Daniel, calma eso. Con, Miel con limón, mielita con limón. Con un trago, hombre, no hay nada mejor que... Ya terminamos, teacher, estamos al suave por eso. Ok, but, but, but practice English, come on. <laughs> <laughs> for example, no, no. say tea. Tea. <laughs> Coffee. Tea, no, tea. no, tea, no. Beer. No, no, no. Aunque no, sea en Spanglish. <laughs> imagínense, imagínense no, las no. recetas de, de, de Jorge va a matar a pobre, a la pobre cliente. <laughs> yes. Tequila, Bosca. mejor. Tequila. Bosca. Whisky. Bosca. Vodka, trenzuda, beer, no, come on. No, tichera, sí. No. Ajá. No va a llegar, Alexander. Coffee, coffee, tea. No, no, no. Tequila no. or whisky. No, 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 no. <risa> Buen remedio, va, Jorge. No, no, no. Con no, eso, man. con eso. Yo la vez pasada se andaba mal de la garganta. Me tomé un tequilazo. Adiós. Ok. <risa> Lo, lo, no, lo bueno was very happy, right? Yo tomaba en la universidad, todavía no. Okay, please. Don't do, don't do. Only soda, water, juice, <laughs> juguito, right? Sana Only miel. That. Sana miel se llama el producto que tiene que comprar. Sana miel. Búsquelo okay. en la Brasil. Okay, excellent. En la buena. Okay, let's go to the room, right? Let's go together. Okay, we're ready, right? Now, number one, please. Group number one. Help me, please. Is there or are there? Group number one. Yeah. Is there. Is there? A dance this a week? Dance. A dance this a week? dance this week. This week or this weekend? This weekend. This weekend, right? Saturday and Sunday, right? That is okay? Okay. Mm. Are you sure? There is something missing, right? Algo falta. What is it? Question. Question mark, correct, right? Question mark, yes. Now, group number two, please. Okay. 
And? Question. Question mark, right? Question mark. Good, thank you. Group number one, please. Group number one. Is there a bank nearby? Is there a bank nearby? Nearby. Yes, nearby. Cerquita, cerca, right? Group number two, please. How many? Are there this afternoon? Question. Question mark. Good. Thank you. Group number one, please. Group number one. How many pharmacies are there on Third Avenue? Well, Shamar, right? How many pharmacies are there on Third, Ave Third Avenue? Good. Number six. Group number two, please. Group number two, uh, ready? Uh huh. How many? How many parties? 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 Parties are there? This month. Are this there month. this month? This month. Question mark. Question. Right? Parties in your company? No. Every year in the company they celebrate, right? Pavo, canasta, uh, gift card, the super super selector, right? No wakal teacher. No wakal. <laughs> Only your guacal here. <laughs> tacita, una tacita, right, Mario? <laughs> okay. I hope you get a good surprise this year. I hope. Que se ganen el ventilador en la fiesta de la compañía, right? <laughs> okay. Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Is there a dance this weekend? Are there three meetings this week? Is there a bank nearby? How many games are there this afternoon? How many games are there this afternoon? How many pharmacies are there on 3rd Avenue? How many pharmacies are there on 3rd Avenue? How many parties are there this month? Okay, good. Please, only Glenda. Miss Garcia Hernandez, please. Only you, only you. Ready? Action. Is there a dance this weekend? Are there three meetings this week? Is there a bank nearby? How many guys are there this afternoon? How, how many permits are there on three avenues? Third, third, third avenue. How many parties are there this month? Okay, thank you very much. Right? Any question, class? Questions? Okay, we finished. Now we're going to make a practice. We're going to make a practice with a resort, right? Con recurso. Let me share with you. Teacher. Yes. Yo tengo una pregunta. Come on, tell me, tell me. There, there is, there are, there is, there are. Se puede usar también para decir una, por ejemplo, una pelota o mm -hmm. esa cosa, no sé. 
singular is there is a ball. Ajá. There is Ajá, a there is hay, a una, hay una pelota. Ajá, hay una pelota. There is a car, hay un carro. Uh -huh. O oh, en plural, there are three balls, there are four cars, there are some trees, hay algunos árboles, there are a uh -huh. lot of cars, hay muchos carros, etc. Yes, we can use okay. it with objects also, with uh -huh. objects, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, let's go to this conversation class. Listen. Page 47, exercise 6, conversation. There aren't any chairs. Listen and practice. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Good. Listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. Repeat. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay. Now again, repetition. Repeat us to me, please. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. Lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. There isn't. There isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. And there aren't any chairs. So let's go shopping next weekend.
So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, class, we're going to practice this conversation. So, uh, Glenda, please. And Griselda. Glenda and Griselda. Glenda, you're Chris. Griselda, you're Linda, right? One, two, three. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen or there is a table. And there's no sulfide hair in the little room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping this weekend. Okie dokie. Thank you. I like it. I like it. Good. Now let's go to, uh, in this case, Mario, Ernesto, right? Ernesto, Mario, Ernesto, and Mario. Okay. Yes. Come on. Uh, Ernesto, your Chris, and Mario, your Linda, right? Yes. Uh, this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of a lot. I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa uh, here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Nice, excellent, excellent, right? Now, uh, Saul and Yancy, please. Saul, your Chris. Yancy, your Linda, right? Action. This apartment is great. Yancy. Perdón, teacher, que me perdí en cuál eh, cuál es. Uh, you are Linda. Um, Linda says thanks. I love it. Ah, uh, uh, sí, 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 sí. Um, thanks. I love it. But it really needs to some fourteen furniture. Fourteen furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lo I need lots of th things. There are some chair in the kitchen. But there is a table. There isn't. The there isn't a table. A table. <coughs> and there's no sofa here in the living room. And they are. There any, aren't. There aren't. There aren't. In the in the aren't. And in Shay, they, 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 only these lamps. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation. Now we're going to make a practice using there is, there are, right? Pay attention, please. Listen. Page 47, exercise 7. Grammar focus. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. Again, listen. Page 47, exercise 7, grammar focus. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. 
There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. Good, that's it, right? Now, class, notice that the first part is singular. We said there is a bed, only one bed. Yeah. Singular. In negative, there is no sofa. Or you can say there isn't a sofa in the bedroom, right? And then we said there isn't a table in the kitchen. All of these are singular, right? Then in plural, we say there are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. Or you can say there aren't, chair and there aren't chairs in the living room. Right? Then we have this. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Okay. So there's equals to say there is contraction, right? But when you say there are no contractions, there are mm -mm, no contractions, right? There are no contractions. Okay. Good. Any question? Questions? Questions? No. Okay. No, teacher. No. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to make an exercise. Yes, yeah, something like this, right? Now, look, this is the apartment of Linda. Linda's apartment, right? Okay. So in this apartment, there are some things and there aren't something, right? So look at the picture, please. Number one, look at the bedroom, bedroom, right? Bedroom. Do you see a dresser? Un gavetero? Dresser in the bedroom? No, right? No, no. there is no dresser in the bedroom, right? What about chairs in the kitchen? What about TV in the living room? Refrigerator. Do you see a refrigerator? Rugs, you know, alfombras. Curtains, no. curtains, mirror, books. Okay, so let's make questions together, right? Let's begin with with Glenda, please. Chairs in the kitchen. There is or there are, or there isn't or there aren't. Glenda? What can you see? ¿Qué puede ver Glenda ahí en el dibujito? Eh, sería there is. There is or there are? Mm. There is. Uh -huh. There is, but chairs is plural. Linda. Ah, chairs. Uh -huh. There are, entonces. There are, very good. Uh -huh. There are chairs. We can add some, right? Or we can say there are three. How many do you see? There are three, right? There are three. One, two, three. Yeah, we can say that. There are three chairs in the kitchen. Good. Next one, please, Griselda. Number three. There isn't TV in, in living room. Oh, no, no, no. En siquiera la habitación. There is TV in living room. Okay, there is, right? Ahí solito el tele, pero ahí está, okay. There... There is a TV, right? There is a TV in the living room. Okay, very good. Number four, please. Thank you. Uh, can you help me? Um, Ernesto, please. Okay. Mm. There is no refrigerator. 
there is no refrigerator, right? Or oh, there isn't a refrigerator. There's there's no refrigerator. Look, no refrigerator, right? Maybe it's coming next week. The refrigerator, but for the moment, no, no charamuscas. <laughs> In Linda's apartment, no charamuscas, right? Okay, very good. Now let's go to number five, please, Mario. There is no, there are no rows on the floor. Aha, uh -huh, but wait a minute. In the bedroom, I see a rug, right? But in the living room, no rows. Mario, what do you think, Mario? I guess, teacher. Uh -huh. I guess no. one row? Maybe, in the, right? In the, in the bedroom, in the right? Bedroom? Mm -hmm. uh, but, but so what, we can say both, right, Mario? We can say there, is, there are or there aren't. Because in the living room, no, no rugs. So what is your decision, Mario? You take the decision. Uh, there are <clears throat> no rows. No row, right? There are no row. No rows on the floor. <laughs> no rows on the floor. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much, very much Mario. Now, please, Saul. Number six, Saul. Curtains. On the window. Um, there is. Mm -hmm. But curtains is plural, right, Saul? Curtains is plural. So there is. There's. There is or there are. There are. There are, right? Okay, good. Okay, Saul, but do you see. Do you see the curtains? Se ven las cortinas ahí? O no? What do you think, Saul? Le hablaste a... There are... Ajá, uh -huh, correct. There are... O there aren't. <laughs> there aren't. There aren't, correct, there aren't. Or you can say there are no, right? There aren't curtains, curtains. No, ya viste bien la, la, la imagen. Ah, no se ve bien. No, yo no la había visto bien. Ah, ok. Y ahí está la ventana, va, sin cortina, you know? Igual en el, en el, en el sink, you know, en el lavadero. Yes. No, no hay. Y el, el, el bedroom solo un espejito aparece ahí, es espejito, espejito. Okay, but no, no, no curtains, right? There are in curtains, or, or, or there are no curtains if you want. Good, thank you, Saul. Jancy, number seven, Jancy. Um, sería there is there is, there is mirror mirror in the bedroom. There is a mirror in the bedroom. There is a mirror in the bedroom. Correct. Yes. Number eight, please. Uh, again. Vamos a ver. Uh, Claudia. Claudia está oyente. Vamos a ver si puede participar. Claudia. ¿Puede, Claudia? No. Ok. Jorge, ya está. Ah, ok. Uh, number eight, Claudia. Sí puede. There is or there are mm. books in the bookcase. There aren't. There aren't, correct. My goodness. Menos mal que he estado oyente. There aren't, <laughs> correct. Yes. Con un ojo está trabajando y con el otro está en la clase, ¿verdad, Claudia? There aren't books in the bookcase. No, no hay libros, ¿eh? No books. Right? Understand? Good. Now. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There's no dresser in the bedroom. There are three chairs in the kitchen.
there's a TV in the living room. There's no refrigerator. There are no rugs on the floor. There aren't curtains on the windows. There is a mirror in the bedroom. There are in books in the bookcase. Okie dokie. Questions, class? Questions? Now let's continue, right? No question. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now we're going to go to the listen, right? To finish the class, we're going to go to the listening, right? Eh, antes de ir a listening, eh, quiero saber quién se va a caer conmigo esta noche. Tengo pocos ca candidatos, vamos a ver. Eh, tengo a uh, Maybe. Con Saúl no me he quedado, ¿verdad, Saúl? Saúl puede quedarse esta noche. Diez minuticos. Saúl Yes teacher Yes, ok, thank you, thank you Aquí lo vamos a agendar Saúl Rodrigo Barrera Rodríguez okay, Thank you Saúl Ok, entonces al terminar pues se queda conmigo Los 10 minutitos Ok, thank you Now, let's go and listen Please listen He says Listen to Chris and Linda Talk about a furniture store In a furniture store, ok Al final, Chris y Linda dijeron, bueno, vamos a comprar muebles. Vamos a ir. What does Linda like? Hmm? So you're going to check, 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 check the things of the object that Linda wants, right? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe. Thank you, maybe. Es que mañana, maybe. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Good. Now, armchairs, you know, armchairs are de esos sillones que uno pone la mano aquí, ¿no? Okay, está el sofá y el, y el sillón que le decimos nosotros. Entonces, es el armchairs. A bookcase, a sofa, a mirror, a rock, a coffee table, lamps, and curtains. What things do you think? Uh, that Linda needs, right? Acuérdense del apartamento, qué cosa le hacían falta, pues ahí van a encontrar la respuesta. Now, but listen. Page 48, exercise 10, listening. Furniture is expensive. Listen to Chris and Linda talk in a furniture store. What does Linda like? Check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? No, I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now. From my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look. You know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Um, it's a little boring. Oh, wait a minute. That coffee table is great. Yeah, I like it, too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. So, let's see. The chairs, the coffee table... What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. 
red curtain, you know, cortina roja. Okay, well. <laughs> anyway, right? Now, but let's check, right? Listen again. Second time. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? No, I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now from my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look. You know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Um, it's a little boring. Oh, wait a minute. That coffee table is great. Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. So, let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. Okay, class. Tell me yes and no. Yes and no, right? Yes, there is or no, there isn't. Armchairs? Yes. Yes. Cling. A bookcase? Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, so far. <laughs> no, no, bookcase. Bookcase, you know? Okay. Yes or no? No. No, okay, good. A sofa? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. A mirror? Yes. Hmm. A rug? No. 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 A coffee table? Yes. Yeah. Lamps? Yes. Yes. Curtains? Yes. Okay. So listen again, please. Listen again. Oopsie. Page 48, exercise mm -hmm. 10, listening. Furniture is expensive. Listen to Chris and Linda talk in a furniture store. What does Linda like? Check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? Okay, so armchairs, yes or no? Yeah, right? Cling. A bookcase? No, right? No. No, I don't like that color. The living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? What about a sofa? Listen, the sofa? No. I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now. I have a sofa. So I don't need a sofa. So yes or no, the sofa? Uh, no. No, right? No. No sofa, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, let me see. Uh, let's continue. Oh, from my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look, you know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. The, the, the rug is nice, eh? But the... Um, it's a little boring. The rug is bo boring, you know? Oh, wait a minute. That coffee table is great. The coffee table is great, right? Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. No. So, let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. I don't need lamps. No, I don't need lamps. So, lamps? No. no. 
No. No lamb, right? Does it say no chambre, you know? Okay, good. No <laughs> lamb. <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. Curtain, right? Yes. Perfect. What, what about mirror? Did they say mirror? No, no, no. No, 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 right? No. Again, right? Así se han luchado, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? Estoy bromeando, yes. Okay, good. That's it, right? There we go. What time is it? Yeah, it's time to finish. Ten, right? one. Ten o'clock. Ten, ten, ten and one, right? We, one minute. Nos pasamos un minuto, but I guess it's, it's, it's a good exercise. Any question, class? No, question. No question. Yeah. Okay, eh, ya tomé la asistencia. So, eh, you can go. Solo me quedo con Saúl. So, the rest of you, please. See you tomorrow. Good night, See teacher. You, teacher. Good night. Good night. Have a good, good, night. Night. good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Good night, Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Dago. Bye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye, Marlon. Goodbye, Josué. Goodbye, Jancy. See you tomorrow. Okay. Marlon? See you tomorrow, Marlon. Okay, Saul? Uh, Hi, DJ. The camera is okay, Saul? Or oh, you prefer with Hi, No camera. Sorry. Eh, el que tengo, estoy con el celular, teacher, y no okay, tengo la good. compu. No first. problem. No problem. <laughs> uh, okay, Marlon? Bye bye. Okay. No, no problem, Saul. No, no, no problem. Okay, uh, do you prefer English? Full, full English? Uh, so, so, okay. so. <laughs> okay, good. It's your decision, right? But now, uh, do you have any questions, Saul, for, for the topics? Uh, there is, there are, uh, directions, prepositions, simple present, the alphabet, uh, possessive, verb to be. Oh, uh, this moment all clear, teacher. All clear? My yes, uh, only, only practice. Only practice. Only practice. Right? Okay, I like with that. The, I, with topic. I like that, right? I like this attitude. What about the topic today? There is, there are. Is difficult for you? So-so. Uh, so-so, right? So, so. Listen, Saul, uh, for me, I like when they say there is no sofa. There is no sofa. Because uh, this is the only structure that you use no, no. We don't say not, no. It's N-O, no. There is no. No, no TV, there is no there is no cat, there is no dog, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, in plural, there are no. Yes, en algunas, en, eh, le hice caso en las primeras consejos que nos dio de escuchar bastante música en oh. inglés. Oh, nice. Y comenzar a, 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 leer, a ver los videos así con los, con los subtítulos son en inglés y como son canciones que me gustan, pues ahí las ando cantando. Oh, nice. Can you give me one example, Saúl, of one song? Eh, yes. Eh, está una de, bueno, más como es que todo me gusta el, el, el rock, el rock oh, así, yeah. el rock está, Metallica. no sé si se conoce la Red Hot Chili Peppers. Of course, this is grunge. Grunge, yes, rock, right? like yes, Nirvana, eh, this, Nirvana, yes, I like it. Eh, per Jam. En, en Spanish, tú es eh, so stereo. I know. Eh, but, but todo eso. Stereo es en Spanish, right? But, but mm -hmm. uh, Red Hot Chili Pepper is good music. And they, 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 they it's clear. I mean, you understand what this is. The, the most famous is Californication, right? Yes, uh, Chop Sway. Uh, uh, some barriers, some barriers. Yeah, I know, I know. You're a fan. You're a fan. I know. <laughs> yes, I yes, yes. What about Nirvana? Do you like Nirvana? Mm, the same poco, style, you know? little, a little, a little bit. Per Jam? <clears throat> yes. Creed. And... Well, the group is Creed, right? Creed is grunge, too. 
And I love know. it in Marilyn Manson. Oh. Only on uh, eh, Strong. Marilyn Manson es uno de los, para mí es uno de los mejores. I understand. He, he has, like a person is, is, is not a good person, but the music is, is really good, right? Well, the well, music, well, yes, the music, yes. Listen this group, Saul. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Yes, Led Zeppelin. Uh, Deep Purple. Uh, Deep Purple. No, no. 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 Uh, smoke um, Water. Smoke to, Water. To music. No. L, um, OC también está, eh, no, también está como los cantantes Billy Eilish, eh, nice. ay, Adele, ah, okay. eh, está, yeah. ¿cómo se llama este tipo? Se me olvidó el nombre. Michael La que Jackson. canta de Alpha for Me. Oh, yeah, es Michael Jackson. Eso es, es, sería Bill. pecado decir que no. Alpha Bill, Alpha Bill. Uh -huh. I love that Está song. John Legend. Ah, I love John it. John Legend, of course. Yes. Good music. Okay. Yes. Saul, congratulations. Yes, it's the best way. Honestly, Saul, I have learned uh, English with music. Yes. yes. It helped me a lot. And what about videos? Uh, any movie, any program, any series that you know in English? Mm. Uh, Michael in the Middle. Oh, eh, lo estoy viendo, yo lo vi, ya vi la temporada completa en español y me he atrevido a ver más o menos los, los capítulos en inglés porque ya más o menos me puedo lo, hasta los diálogos. Ok, wait, uh, I, I want to ask you this, Saul. Uh, what percentage do you understand? Uh, 10%, 20%, 50%? Eh, ¿Qué ver? 6%. 60%. 60%. Oh, 60%. That's good. It's a good percentage, 60%. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, my recommendation, Saul, is that if you don't understand, put the What do you have? A Netflix, a HBO, Disney? Disney, Netflix. Disney. Oh, you have everything. Good. So uh, put the subtitles in English, no Spanish, in English. Okay. So you understand and, and you can repeat. You know, because it's, it's a good practice to repeat, you know, but not in your mind, verbal. You produce the sound, right? Okay. Of course, not everything. You said no, va, no va a repetir todo lo que no. Some words, <laughs> some words. You should ah, uh, break down or upstairs. Uh, How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. That's my recommendation. So congratulations, Saul. <laughs> And I, I know you're really good. I, I like your participation. Yes, in class, you are very participative. And this is good. This is good because. Okay. It's not the same uh, a class in person that a class in, in virtual, right? It's not the same. So for that reason, it's necessary you you participate a lot in class. Yes. And what is yes. your what is your opinion of the class? Difficult, easy, boring. And easy and difficult, so so, and <laughs> very uh, very interesting. Interesting. And this is your first time in an English class or, or, or you have been in, in other classes before? In other <clears throat> Tomé clases de inglés, pero cuando estaba estudiando, tenía como hace como unos cinco años. Quizás tomé clases, pero fue lo básico, lo básico prácticamente. Okay, so that's good, uh, Saul. Congratulations because you are, uh, you have a compromise now with English, right? Uh, I imagine that you work, right? And afterward, you go to your house and you want to sleep sometime, but you have, yes. the, from, you, you have the compromise to, to learn English, right? Good, Saul. Thank you to stay with me tonight. I don't know. Okay, if teacher. Have, I don't know if you have any extra question for, for the class. Extra question? Uh, no, oh, no, no, no question. Good. Very nice. So I hope to see you tomorrow, Saul. God bless you. See you. A pleasure, bye -bye. teacher. Goodbye. Bye-bye.